In this tutorial, we will learn how to apply logarithmic transformation in image using MATLAB. To do that, let's load an image first and convert this image into a grayscale image so that we can understand the effect of logarithmic transformation easily. While working with logarithmic function, it is preferred in MATLAB to use double value. Let's convert our existing image into double type. Using im to double function, we can convert the value of grayscale image into a double data type. Let's perform the logarithmic transformation. Here, output 1, output 2, and output 3 are transformed image. Here, double value is the source image and using log function of MATLAB, we can easily transform the image. Let's run the program. The first image is the original one. The second one is the result when we used 2 as the impact factor. When we increase the impact factor from 2 to 2.5, this is the result. And this is the result for scaling factor 3. So, how this program is actually working? To understand, let's take a look at the theoretical concept. The difference between the smallest and largest pixel value of an image is called dynamic range. We can apply logarithmic function within this dynamic range. The primary application of dynamic range transformation is improving the contrast of an image. Our input image is image IJ. Here, i and j is representing the pixel value. To convert this image into logarithmic scale, we have used long image i j. However, logarithm is undefined at zero. To avoid unwanted mistakes, we have used image i j equals to c long 1 plus a to the power sigma minus 1 image i j. If you notice carefully, a to the power sigma minus 1 depends on the value of sigma. And it is being multiplied with the input image. That is why sigma is called the scaling factor of input image to logarithmic function. And the c is the scaling factor of the output image. Our output image can have 0 to 255 values. 255 is the maximum values. Using this maximum value, we can find out the value of C. To do that, we used C equals to 255 over log 1 plus max image IJ. Here, max image IJ represents the maximum pixel value of the image. In this graph, the x axis is from 0 to 255. It represents the pixel value of input image. y axis is also from 0 to 255 and it represents the pixel value of output image. When we put darker pixel in the log function, the value of the pixel increases and thus it becomes brighter. And when we put bright pixel, as input, the output doesn't change that much. As a result, the darker pixel becomes brighter and the bright pixel remain almost as they are. This is how the logarithmic transformation improved the image contrast.